guys, it's Andrea. I'm back to share with y'all one thing I bought on vacation from the Paula Dean Family Restaurant. They have these super cute gift shops in those if y'all have ever been to any of your restaurants. If you haven't, I'd highly recommend them. I've been to two different ones because she only, I think she has four or five across the country. And we've been to two, one in Branson, one in Foley, which is right outside Gulf Shores. Anyway, they had this, her cookware set up on display. And um, I was looking at it and it said 169. I thought, that's really pretty good. So I went and asked the lady and it was, the display set was the only red one left. She had many colors and I wanted the red. So they gave me 10% off because it was the display one. So I was really bought. Then I was really suckered in then. So I want to show y'all this cookware set. And we'll be trying these out in future get um, future cook with me. See how we like them. It's ceramic non-stick cookware. We should really tape this sucker up. Ceramic coated. I guess I should say. Here's the little informational bits. Um, always preheat, use low to medium high heat when cooking. This helps with the life with your nonstick ceramic surface. Um, this cookware is dishwasher safe on the top rack. Hand washing is recommended. Allow your cookware to cool before putting into water. Do not use abrasive harsh cleaners. Um, don't use metal utensils. It's oven safe up to 450 degrees. The lid is oven safe up to 400 degrees. That's awesome to know. That's one of the things that sold me on it. Um, it's compatible with induction ceramic, electric, including gas, radiant coil, and glass stove tops. Okay. And there's a limited one year warranty. First, guys, um, that I'm pulling out, I'm gonna have to run all these through the dishwasher or wash them all because they were on display. Um, the a lid they all all the lids are vented here and they've got like the silicone handles and seals not sure what that lid goes to yet we have this size pan for boiling Got the grips too. What is this? This is a two quart saucepan. Good for making uh, pasta and such and that. Looks like, yeah, there is a lid to this one. It's got a venting hole as well and pour spouts. I think there's that. I don't know where I'm gonna set all this stuff while I'm unboxing it. There's a lot of stuff in here. This huge lid. All right, we've got this smaller frying pan. This will be the probably the most used item. What size is it? Does it say? Eight inch fry pan. It's textured bottom. I'll probably be using that the most of anything. And here's a larger. Well, I take that back. I'll probably be using this one the most. The eight inch fry pans I usually reserve for eggs and such. This is a 9.5 inch frying pan and it's got the pour spouts as well. Nope, lid doesn't fit that. Lid fits this. And 
Then we have another frying pan. The hugest of all. It's got another handle here for helping you pick it up. It's a big old casserole pan or big old pan. This one is 11 inch saute pan. It's the big daddy. And I believe the lid fits this. Yeah. So, so far I've got one, two, three, four pans and three lids. Wait, there's more. A little bitty frying pan for knocking someone upside the head. This is a 5.5 inch frying pan. This is like an individual egg cooker is what I would use this for, something, you know, really small. It still has the padded handle. Tells y'all the safeties on the back. Cute little baby one. And then we have a steam tray, which you could put in the bottom of this next pan. This one will get used a lot. This is like soups and stuff. All of these have pour spouts. This is five quart casserole. And you could put a little steam tray in there if you wanna steam something up. And I bet a lid fits this. Yes. Now look at this, we've got all these utensils that came with it too. Well, I wanna show you something about these. They all say Dean Family Collection on them. We have this huge spatula. They all have this hook, see? Which you can use, um, when you set it on the counter, let me show you a flat surface. When you set it on the counter, it kind of um, will hold your spatula up off of the countertop so you're not getting drips, food touching, your spatula touching the counter. Um, I love utensils like that. But also what these little hooks do, see this pan? Which you wouldn't use this big one, you honking one. Like this strainer spoon. Like that. <laughs> There's that. I'm excited to try out all my new uh, cooking things. I got to make room in my cabinets for all this stuff. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. See you at the next one.